Hello. I am hoping I've already put a vlog up explaining my face away to you. But in case I didn't, or I did and you didn't watch it yet, I can only imagine what's in her mouth. Oh! All right, lay down. Be a good girl. Can you lay down and be a good girl? You don't have to go in, honey. Just be a good girl. Okay. So, uh, long story short, I fell at a customer's house, avoiding their dogs, because I was about to fall and trip on uh, one of the two. Um, I was trying to avoid the second one. I tripped over the first and was trying to avoid landing on the second, and long story short, I face planted. My face took the entire brunt of the fall. So I am rug burned, and I just am just <laughs> categorically shocked and in awe at how I look but I need to record videos and I have no idea how long my face is gonna look like this I am covered top to here this is just is it but I, mean, I can't put makeup over it they're open r burns so hi sexy time over here <sighs> what am I gonna do I'm in the mood to record Be frightened the uh yeah i'm already thinking like what kind of a thumbnail am i putting up with this friggin face i don't know but i need to make this video because i was tagged by suzanne's ww life back in friggin december it's march and who knows if this will even go up in March. I need to get this video up. And it was the 10 life-changing question tag. And uh, I need to do it, so I'm doing it. So you're gonna have to suffer through my ugly face. I'm sorry, okay? Just maybe don't look at me and just listen to the, listen to the audio. <laughs> I don't even wanna look at me. Every time I look up, I'm like, oh good. And I look away, you notice that? Okay, anyway, so let's just get into this so I can get my mind off my ugly ass face. Just look at me. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm so afraid that's gonna lead to a freaking scar. It seems to be getting worse by the moment. I swear I didn't look this bad earlier today. I gotta go to work like this. Hey, I'm Kim. Hey. <laughs> What's happened to your face? Oh my God, what happened? That's all I'm gonna hear. I'm dreading it. All right, let's just stop. Okay. Number one, how would you like... Oh, I was tagged in December of 2019. So this was meant to be recorded before 2020 started, I, I think. But whatever. Number one, how would you like... How would your life be different in 2020? Uh, I'm in a happy relationship that I'm actually uh, enjoying being in. And I'm very into this person as opposed to the relationship I was in for some of 2019. That's the truth. And I don't even hate that guy. It's not like that. It's just, I knew I was never into him. And it ended. And I was hurt when it ended, but then it, like I saw the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel, like, duh, you were never even into him. Why are you upset? I don't know. I'm dumb. Number two. Um, Number two, what are you planning on doing to invest in your success for yourself in 2020? Well, I am sticking to the uh, intermittent fasting. Um, and I am going to the gym regularly now. And I am hoping I continue to lose weight. That's, that's my big thing. So how am I investing? That's what I'm doing to invest, I guess. If that makes sense. And I am also... This is gonna sound so corny, but I am like actually giving effort into this relationship of mine, my new relationship. Um, as opposed to the zero effort I was giving in my previous one. I, I, I'm, I'm in love for the first time and I don't even know how long. Like I feel like since my high school relationship and I was with him for 10 years, 
It is that same exact feeling that I have not felt in forever. God, I hope that doesn't blow up in my face. Number three, what was your biggest achievement this year that you want to build on in 2020? The sticking to the intermittent fasting is the, the thing I started in late 2019, and I am hoping that I continue. I mean, I, it's, we're in March and I'm still doing it, so I hope, I hope, I hope I stick with it and that it keeps working. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna say that for the answer. Number four, what mistakes are you aware of this past year that you won't repeat in 2020? Staying in a relationship that I don't wanna be in. <laughs> That's the truth. I, I, what I was doing to avoid being single, I was just staying in it, but I couldn't stand to be with them. I'm just the thought of it now. Well, no offense and all, because like I said, I don't hate this man. But ugh, I can't even believe I did it for as long as I did. It's embarrassing. I will never do that again, I hope. That's not how I feel in this relationship at all. So let me just let me just like summarize. I would avoid seeing him as much as possible. And if I could get away with seeing him like every other week, one day. I would, I would push that. Where with this man, I want to see him every day, but we don't because he works a lot and I work a lot, but I see him three to four times a week. And to me, that's not enough. I want seven days because I'm greedy. Number five, what person, place, or thing changed your life this past year? He did. Robert did. Big time big time and I met him in 2019 so I started dating him in late December so yeah Robert did six compared to last year are you happier or sadder fatter or thinner richer or poor I'm 100% happier I'm definitely still fat but I'm thinner than I was at this time last year and I'm actually consistently working on it as opposed to last year at this time and richer or poor I don't want to answer that I'm afraid of putting it out in the universe number seven how was the very best no yeah how was the very best version of yourself different this year from the way you behaved last year damn um Gosh, I don't know. My very best version last year was fake. It was fake. Because I was faking I was making myself think I was into someone that I wasn't into. You notice like that's like like the main thing I keep saying in this, but that was like my big hang up was just to not be single. And I hate that. I hate that about myself. So that is a different. And that was every version of me, not just my best version, but obviously I was doing it for almost two years. Number eight, imagine you just received a letter from yourself from next year on this date. What would the message say? <sighs> Good job. To keep it up. Because hopefully a year from now, I'm a lot thinner and I'm still with Robert. Number nine, what song sums up your past or future years? Pearl Jam's Rearview Mirror. Without question, my past, past year. Mm -hmm. And what quote sums up your past year? Ooh, I gotta think about that one. The 
Let me come back. Okay, I cheated and I, I looked some up. And I like one day or day one, you decide. Because my ass is always putting shit off. I need, to, I need to start stuff. So that's what I did with the intermittent fasting. All I talk about is intermittent fasting. I know, I know, but I love it because it works. That's it, my friends. That is the it. That is the end. I banged my head. Leave me alone, okay? My head hurts, too. Oh, I feel rough. I feel like shite. What a great w time to record. What the hell is wrong with me? I'll tell you why. I hit my head. That's what's wrong with me. Time for some Advil. Um, I am not going to tag anyone in this video. I'm going to just say this. If, because she tagged, she tagged people and I don't know who they tagged. I don't remember because it's been so long. So I'm saying this. If you have not recorded this video, you're tagged. Please record. And you can say I tagged you. Okay. So anybody and everybody's tagged. That's who I'm tagging. So please have a fabulous day. Come back and see me soon. And Wish me luck that this crap heals and gets off my face. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the like button. If you would, please. Come on, look at my face. I deserve a like and a subscribe.